Okay, so right off the top, uh, we're gonna do, this is one of my guilty pleasures um, when eating soup out, and I know it has like a thousand million milligrams of sodium. It's not even a number, but. Um, <laughs> But uh, it's, it's, this is going to be a, you know, a little bit of a healthier version and we're going to do a nice French onion soup with a little bit of a twist. Uh, so the twist will get out of the way right off the bat. We're going to be using lentils. Uh, lentils are, I mean, not only extremely nutritious for you, they're delicious. Um, they can be added very easily into a lot of your different recipes without it changing too much. And in fact, um, I find, especially with soups, it, it makes them a little bit more substantial. It makes, it makes them a little bit more robust. Um, so great addition for this soup. Choice of lentils. Again, there's so many varieties out there. For this recipe, you know, really use your favorite. Uh, you know, you, you get your orange or your, your yellow lentils, they tend to break down a little faster. So they'll be a little softer in the soup. So maybe try something like either a green lentil, a brown lentil, or what we have here, uh, they're called Pouille lentils, French lentils, uh, which are some of my favorite. A little harder to find, um, <laughs> yeah, but they are very tasty and that's what we're gonna use today. Okay, so now to start the recipe, French onion soup, obviously you need onions. Uh, we're using three large onions. The variety is really up to you. You know, they, they do have a, a difference in taste uh, when cooked. We actually um, did a blog on some of the different types of onions that you can check out. Um, and, uh, you know, there's different sweetnesses, but really use whatever you like. I have a mix. I have some sweet onion, some Spanish onion, some red onion. Uh, so the hardest job is pretty much to cut them. Uh, who likes cutting onions? <laughs> yeah. Does anyone have any tricks uh, that they've tried or that they've heard about to stop to the crying? To stop crying. Soaking in water. Soaking in water. Does that work? Yeah. yeah. So there's different ones. Any other I ones? I put on science goggles. Science <laughs> goggles. And chop them so they don't crack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The crusher? Oh, there's, a, there's one. There's the, the chopper. The slap chop. There you go. Slap chop. <laughs> slap chop. <laughs> also, also a good there's, kid option. Yeah, there's, I've, heard, I've heard all kinds. It's like sticking a match in your nose while you're cutting the onion. And it's, don't try that at home. Whatever works for you, you can do it. Um, but honestly, with, with some, of, some of the gear, it, it's, you'll finish the soup before you, you figure out how, how to stop the crying. So uh, the, the best way, I think, and the best way that's worked for me is have a really sharp knife. Uh, having a really sharp knife uh, breaks less of the cells in the onion, which releases sort of those vapors that make you cry. So uh, make sure you're using a sharp knife, and that goes across with any sort of cutting. And on our YouTube page, I'm going to be plugging it a lot. The YouTube page, we have uh, some great uh, maintenance, knife maintenance videos and, and knife choosing videos, so you can check that out. Isn't there our how to cut an onion video as how well? How to cut an onion video. It's all up there. Some great tips and tricks to make life easier. Ready to go for this French onion soup. <laughs> so I'm uh, cutting them up into bigger slices um, because I'm caram caramelizing them, I'm slow cooking them. If they're too thin, they're just gonna disintegrate and in the soup, I'm not gonna actually taste any onion or have the texture of any onion. So bigger slices are great. And we're gonna put them into a big pot. The larger the surface, the better. So this goes with sort of any browning of any vegetables. If you start to crowd them and start to layer them, then you're, you're boiling them more than you're caramelizing them. So you want that contact with the bottom of the pan exactly. to get the nice browning. Yeah, so a bigger surface area, the better. So try to choose your, your biggest pot you have. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of, this is grapeseed oil that I'm using, but olive oil is a great addition here as well. And we're gonna add this in. And medium heat. You know, this is a slow and low technique. You know, I talk to a lot of people, it's either they undercook it or they burn them, they overcook it. Medium heat and just keep an eye on it. Stir it occasionally, but don't add anything. Just don't, like you don't have to, there's no sugar involved, the caramelizing. There's a natural sugar in, the, in the, the onions that are actually gonna come out and do that for you. So, onions in, and these will reduce to about a quarter of their size. Um, and actually, I'll show you. This is what they look like after about 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, you have some nice browning, uh, which is flavor, so that's a good thing. They've softened up quite a bit. 
And you can see this was about the same amount. This is about three large onions. So it cooks down quite a bit. And from there, we can finish the soup. So lentils, we're going to add about three quarters of a cup. I'm kind of eyeballing that, but that's <laughs> about three quarters of a cup there. Um, thyme is great in French onion soup. It's, it kind of goes hand in hand, but again, you can use rosemary, you can use sage, whatever you like in there. So that goes in. Some garlic. Question. Do you soak them? Just add them? No. The beauty of lentils, unlike all the other beans, no soaking required. You just... You know, you might want to give them a rinse mm -hmm. through and just make sure there aren't any stones or anything that, that are in your bag because they're sorted by machine. Uh, but other than that, you don't have to leave them sitting and soaking like other beans. They're yeah. ready to go. And they cook so much faster because they're so much smaller. So they really are kind of a, a kitchen hack, a quick way to get some more legumes into your diet. Absolutely. So roughly chopped garlic. If I was making this at home, I would probably just leave it whole. But... Those are the nice surprises I like in a soup. Not, every <laughs> uh, not everyone likes a massive chunk of garlic in their soup. So that's up to you. And a pinch of salt and black pepper. Now, acidity is really important in cooking, um, especially in soups. And I mean, you leave that up to you. Lemon juice is fantastic. The traditional uh, acid to use is sherry vinegar. Um, for a French onion soup. Um, these, you know, you can find these in, again, most grocery stores should have them. If not, even balsamic vinegar would be really, really nice in this. And I'm adding a couple tablespoons. I like, I like the flavor. But you can add a little less. And then over top of that, our stock, our liquid. And that's pretty much the last thing. So again, beef stock is traditionally used for French onion soups. Um, if I'm making this, more vegetarian or vegetarian. Um, I like mushroom stock. I think mushroom stock is a great sort of sub. Um, it has sort of that meaty flavor. We've made mushroom stocks in the class before. We have recipes, super easy. Dried mushrooms, put some bay leaf, some herbs, maybe a little tomato paste, cover it with boiling water, and let it sit for 10 minutes. And it's like super, super fast. Really, really flavorful. And you, it looks like a beef stock. Like it's nice and dark, really nice and rich. And it has that almost meaty flavor to it because of the umami uh, taste or flavor that's in the mushroom. So that's it. Everything's in. Let it simmer uh, for about 30 minutes just until the lentils are cooked through. And again, depending on the lentils that you use, it might be 20 minutes, it might be 30 minutes. Um, but that's it. And then this guy's been simmering for a while your fanciest bowl or it could be anything but a plate wouldn't work <laughs> and ladle it up and then we're not going to take what does french onion soup usually have yeah. cheese a lot of cheese and bread over top of it which is good from time to time we're going to do a bit of a lighter version because for cancer prevention and colorectal cancer pre prevention, we want to go more, you know, two thirds of your plate or more foods that come from plants, and then one third or less foods that come from animals. So already vegetarian, we can add a nice little bit of cheese, but here Jeremy has a whole grain bread, so we're upping the fiber, and we're getting more nutrition <coughs> with the whole grains. And Gruyere, Gruyere, you can a use your favorites. Gruyere. Nice and stinky on top. That's right. And the more <laughs> flavorful the cheese, the less you have to use to really enjoy it. So we don't need a ton. This is going to melt over really, really nicely. Um, and we're still, you know, getting the benefit of, of some of the flavor and reducing the amount of saturated fat and calories that are in this dish. Absolutely. And then I just put a little bit of tarragon on top. So that's our first recipe, French onion soup with lentils. Mm -hmm.